Good morning, and welcome to another day in Morrowind. My name is Varax, this is Karish, hope you're all doing well. Um, I didn't make a Let's Discuss video this week because uh, I had a bit of a sore throat, a bit of a tickly cough, really annoying type thing, which prevented me from both recording um, and streaming. This is my first recording since I've done, you know, since I got this, this annoying affliction, which I have more or less, you know, like 90% far off but just so you guys know that uh, it's it's not 100% gone so I might be a bit not really congested but you know it's just the cough so you know I, I might do, I might I might be a bit coffee during this um, just so you, so you know but yeah last time we finished this we uh, we're on a really good kind of uh, kind of place we got a whole bunch of new quests and so we now set off to do them and like I said the first the, the one we're gonna do is uh, oh yeah, I should say there won't be a let's discuss video this week either because I'm going to Madrid, uh, but that won't affect this let's play. Uh, I'll still upload next Saturday as as normal. I'm just going during the week anyway. So um, going to find a ring known as the Black Jinx. So Mistress Dratha has always had an interest in this ring. She believes that the ring is now here inside of Mara. Acquire this ring and deliver it to me. So I just have to look around because it obviously isn't Vigos ring. So, yeah. So let's ask a guard, I guess. Good place to start is to ask a friendly guard with a bug helmet on. The Black Jinx. I've heard of it. I believe the ring belongs to the Morag Tong. If you're brave, perhaps you could ask them. They have a guild hall in the northeast side of town. Indeed, they do. Well, that's alright. That's, that's what we'll do then. I believe it's that one. I think so. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Maybe this one, actually. Now that I think about it, yeah, this one's a bit grand. I'm not even going to look at that one. It is this one. I don't remember this quest. <laughs> Which is nice. I don't want to remember everything about the game. Uh, oh, there we go. See, but I, I did remember where that is. Oh, it's dark. It's really dark. It's very, very dark. Hello. Welcome, Karish. What brings you to the Morag Tong? What is the Morag Tong? Morag Tong is the ancient tradition... Traditional Assassin's Guild of the Dunma. We provide three varieties of ex execution. Public, private, and house war. We only recruit candidates of proven skill and honor. I know the Grandmaster Enu Hlalu in Vivek can authorize new members to join the Morogtong. I don't particularly think Karish fancies himself as an assassin. Seems a bit dirty work, so we're not going to do that. We are going to ask, we're going to barter maybe. We do have some gold, fine. Let's uh, ask about this then. I've heard of it, I believe, yes. We know. <laughs> That's why I'm here. So obviously you don't have it. Again, very dark. I know, I apologise. I'm sorry. Is anyone else here? Um, where's me? Where's me? Where's me lantern? I am looking, and I am not seeing it. Did it run out? It must have run out. No, well, you guys can't see anything. I am now going through a door. The door is now opening. I see a corridor. I'm going down it. There is now a man, a dark elf, in a red robe. I am now talking to him. Welcome to our fair time, Karish. Ta town, Karish. If you're in the Sadrith Mara, I'm sure you'll uh, see much that puzzles you. Do you have any questions? I'm not really new, actually. I'm here about the black drinks. Suppose I did have this ring, called uh, this black jinx. Would uh, you take what is not rightfully yours? Hmm... Interesting. So you want me to... Uh, we need a charm spell, I think. That's something that... Well, we do have the gold for it now. I just can't remember where I would get a charm spell. Someone up there. I'll talk to them. I am now hopping on a table in order to get up some stairs in order to talk to another... Uh, a Breton who is walking in place. He's wearing Nech leather armor, I believe. Hello. Same to you, Karish. Welcome to Sadrith Mora in House Tilvani country. What brings you to the uh, island? Planning to visit some specific place here, or is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, apparently not. I'm now That's trying you. to get past the man. I have. There is now a Dunma lady with a uh, long, quick straight here. white hair, again in leather armor, I believe. <laughs> I'll stop doing that. Uh, welcome to Sadrith Mara, Karish. Uh, it is the district 
This is the district seat of Health Telvani. We see many outlanders here, but Sedrith Mara is not a very friendly town, especially if you're an outlander. The Black Jinx. Okay, so this that dude down there has it. Now, if I attack him, all these guys are going to attack me. Uh, so I can either try and get a spell to uh, frenzy him. Um, or I can charm him and maybe get some more information that way. But mm. So we're going to have to look at... Let's go to the Mages Guild. What else have we got here? Oh yeah, I have to go to the Mages Guild here in South Tomorrow anyway to get the Staff of Silver Dawn. So that works. <coughs> so, so we'll go and do that. We'll head to the Mages Guild. Uh, we'll go this way actually, yeah. And uh, yeah, see if we can get that staff. It's a bit more interesting, a bit more intriguing than what we've been doing. I'm trying to find a way to uh, get it off him. I could, you know, pickpocket him, but the Karish isn't really a skilled enough for that kind of shenanigans, is he? So it does look like we're going to have to get it through magical means. I mean, I, I could attack him, but that would probably be a really bad idea. Looks like it's going to be the Frenzy or Charm. We'll see what these guys have. I only have a few moments. I'm not going to bother looking for an item. That has one of those effects on it. It's much easier to get the spell. We've tried the whole item hunting before and spent a whole episode on it. So yeah, now you guys have stuff. Let's have a look. Let's see what you guys have got. Likes my outfit, that's good. As well he should. Right, not this. Uh, spells. Let's not be too... Uh... See, 45 personality is kind of like it, but not really. I don't really know what effect that's going to have. You know, it's 200 gold, so that's a fifth of our gold, so let's not, let's not do that. So calm creature... A lot of fortify stuff and resistance. So nothing from you. Okay, let's eliminate eliminated you. Hello. Hello? 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 On, there I you go. Day, you know. I was waiting for you. Spell. Okay, this guy does spell making, which is handy. So divine intervention. I don't actually know divine intervention. That could be really handy. I'm going to learn that. I'm going to learn it. I mean... I know someone's going to say it's probably better to learn charm than cast it on people who you're going to buy stuff off. And I get that. Um, but I might not even get a charm spell and I'll be waiting forever. Just get in this. Probably going to save our bacon more than once. Restore health and then a lot of absorb stuff. Oh, absorb health. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I bought it. <laughs> I bought it. Uh, I know we... Did we buy another spell like that and I just didn't use it? Yeah, I bought Absorb Fatigue. I just haven't used it yet, but Absorb Health. One of the most effective spells in the game. Damages an enemy magically. Heals you. I mean, brilliant spell. Not really Karish's first port of call, because it does involve him getting in there and, um, you know, vaguely having contact, even though you say it's on touch, but it's not really on touch, is it? You just kind of... Well, it is and it isn't. I suppose it is. Technically, it's just... I like to think of it as sort of really close range. But... Um, Alright, so let's have a look. Let's see what you guys have got. The off spells. Alright, we need the staff first before I forget. Staff of the Silver Dawn. You have it. Don't use it very often. I prefer daggers myself. I can sell it for 300. Oh. Well, that was easy. You know what? I'll probably do that. I'll probably get... More back for it. Karish's uh, experience tells him that. So he's probably not even spending his own money. So yeah, alright then. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Come see me if you're ever looking for another enchanted item. Why? You don't... You don't, you don't sell any. Um, alright, this is definitely a possibility. Um, 30 seconds. Is it worth it? It will, of course, trend my illusion. I guess six points is how much magic it takes. Um, 
Because all these things, you know, like paralysis could be really, really good. It's only three seconds, but that could really make a big difference. The wild levitate is also really tempting. And I know I'm buying spells, but I should be buying items. And these are not anything we want anyway. Chameleon, invisibility, paralyze, demoralize. Get in there. Detect key. Hmm. I've only ever used detect key once, and it was in a mod. When there was a key hidden somewhere in a place. Otherwise, you really don't need them, I reckon. Hello? Uh, were you enchanter? You enchant stuff. Blinding, restoring health thing. I don't ever recall seeing um, a a spell that does charm, a, a, a scroll that does charm even. Hello, go to you, Karish. I am Ul Uleni Helleren. I assume you're new here, Sathimara. Relatively, I suppose, since we've never spoken before. I like how they do that, how they know it's the first time talking to them. That's clever. I know I know most everyone in town. Yeah, so does everybody. Uh, spells. Shield, shield. No, no. Oh, tempting, 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 tempting. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um... Now let's have a think about this first, before we get onto this. Um, so this is 14 points, I'm assuming that's the magic cost. Uh, and it lasts 45 seconds. Bony! Uh, so that's 6, so 12, so I've cast that 3 times, 6, 12, 18, so yeah. The, uh, it saves me two magicka <laughs> to cast this one. Although, should I be looking at something else? You know, maybe something like a Greater Bone Walker. It's not that much more. Is it the next step up? I mean, a Frost Atronach. Really, really powerful. All my gold, of course. I don't want to use all my... I'll tell you what, I'm going to get the, the Greater Bone Walker. That damages health. I'm just stupid about how much... How useful that actually is. Because damage health on a player is really dam damaging. Because um, the player will usually have like lots in his inventory. Or her. Whereas NPCs... I mean, yes, it'll make them do less damage with their with their axes and stuff, but it won't ever encumber them because they only have the bare minimum, minimum of equipment and they still might have string 60 or whatever, so... <sighs> but it might do magic... I don't think it does magical damage. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave off. I am... But I may well get this Frenzian touch because I haven't seen any charming. Five points for ten seconds. I don't know what that means. I got it. Um, let's see what else is here. Hello. Uh, same to you, Karish. Welcome to Samith Mara, House Sylvani country. What brings you to the island? You're planning to visit some specific place? Well, eventually, yes. You're training anyway. I don't think any of these guys actually... S maybe you. Duties or advancement? Neither. I have a mission from the Archmage. I don't need anything from some stupid Agonian. Fine. 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 Oh, a new barter. Uh, hmm, hmm. Not a lot to sell. Not a lot to buy. I mean, I've got plenty of Restore Magicka, which is nice. So we're not really desperate for anything. Uh, restore health. Yeah, we got that as well. So I've got restore health, restore magic potions. The only thing I don't really have is any levitate. Uh, there are no cheap levitate spells in the game, as far as I remember. You can only buy it and then make one. But this one over here... 
I could have fought it now, and that just gets rid of my levitation woes, but then I might be able to make a more powerful frenzy thing, because I think what this does is five points, maybe five percent. Oh, um, I'm sure someone up there does spell making, but I know this person does. I only have a few Not you. Hello? Hello, hello. We're going to make... No, no. The most potent... How much... How much um, we've got 471. We're going to make the most potent... Frenzy spell we can. I wouldn't mind going down the charm way, but I could only cast it once, and then it doesn't stack, I don't think. So I, I can do, like, charm 20 points. If that's not enough, then it's, it's not enough. It's tough. Uh, I can make a fluctuating charm spell, but I need to find someone who does charm with that. When he's darting around all the mages' guilds. Eh, let's just see how much this is. Um, so, Frenzy Humanoid. On touch. So, what's 100? Wow, that's quite expensive. Um, no, wait. No, but why would I need... Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I want... Okay, let's reset that. Duration 1. Because he only has to... Um, what? He only has to like attack us once. I don't know why he needed a greater duration than that. Once he's attacking you, he's hostile and that's it. 35 to 60. For pretty much all I gold. Uh. Hmm. Hate me. I bought it. All right, let's go and cast that on that what bloke. Stranger. See what happens. Mind you, now now he'll hate me. I'll have to kill him. <laughs> um. Hmm. That is if it works. That is a big if. I might have used all my gold. I I, I think I'm going to get a reward. Well, I probably I better believe get a reward for for the staff. So I'm not too worried about using most of my um, gold on this spell. I might be able to use it more than once as well. But yeah, if I, if Karish ever needs someone to attack him. <laughs> Rather, I suppose it, it it might just represent him just saying something really insulting to them, but uh, that wouldn't cost magic, or would it? So, <laughs> but still, let's give this a go. I think a charm spell would would suit him more than this, to be honest. But just in the interests of time and the fact that it was, I found it first, and I don't want to turn something down, waiting for something better that might never show up. You know, I would. Maybe show up in a couple of guilds' time. With, you know, I I could tr travel to Caldera, then I could travel to Balmar, then I could travel to you know, and then finally I find a charm spell, and we get up here, it doesn't work, you know. So I, I got I got to take what the game throws at me, pretty much. All right. Ah, uh, it's getting quite athletic. I don't think, uh... Oh, it is one of his, uh, minor skills. I didn't realise. I want to start using some of these. I mean, Maxman Spear we haven't used yet. Oh, yeah, I need to buy that. Um, but Mysticism, all this illusion type stuff, I, I really want to start using more. That's why I, I'm keen to buy spells. Mind you, he does have Enchant as well, doesn't he? And that's, uh... Something we need. So I don't, I don't really think we're... Okay, anyway. I'm saving it. Hello. Right, let's, uh, let's... I should have walked here. Because now you lost... Look, there's a nice bright thing we can look at. Hate me. 
So, yeah, just wait for our fatigue to restore. Or fatigue to go away, really, you know. <clears throat> and then we'll just kind of see what happens. Because I must admit, you know, when I was do like power runs or whatever and try to be as powerful as I can as quickly as possible, the um, Archmage of the Major, Major Guild has a really nice amulet that restores magicka and I think resists non-weapons and stuff like that. And you can get it off him if you kill him. Uh, and a good way to kill him is to cast a spell like this on him, but I always do the 100 to 100 points. So, anyway, save it. Hate me. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Not working. Not working. Not working! It's working! Um, why am I encumbered? Um, um, that makes no sense. So, hang on. Hang on. Alright. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Now the follow-up plan. Now that that's working. Bony! <laughs> Okay, sweet. I'm in Inwa. Oh god, he's battering me. He is punching my lights out. I didn't expect this, I must admit. Any restore fatigue? Oh no. Run away! Run away! I'm offering come. Oh yeah, because he's done this to me. Oh, he's done the black jinx on me. Well, this is bad. Okay, I think he's got me on this. I think he's got me. Oh, man. Yeah, he's got me. I mean, I can... I can, um... Restore my health, but... Is there much point? I suppose I could try this. But no. No, I can't even get a spell off. Run away! Okay, all right. No, no, no. This is this is this is okay. This is uh, was not okay at all. It's really bad. But uh, what we need is some backup. He's here somewhere. <laughs> I can't even see where I am. Yeah, you're probably right. He's down there. I can see him. Cheers, Bonnie. Cheers, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> Carish, how do you get yourself in this situation? <coughs> There's the cough. Oh, come on. Let me move or something. I mean, I, I can keep doing this. I might as well. Not that. We're fine for Magicka. I can't believe he's just like punching my lights out constantly. I just need to get away and I think he's got me pinned. I can't even... Yeah, I, I got nothing. Right, I'm up. I'm trying to move. There, that's as far as I got. Oh look, we leveled! Well, that's good. I can't even tell if I'm like standing or not now. Yeah, I'm, st I'm actually stuck on that. Yeah, let's just not bother. Let's just load it. Because, yeah, I, I, I was stuck. And getting punched to death. So, uh, okay. So we know this works. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh. No, no, stay, stay. Uh, where is it? God damn it. <laughs> now it's locked, but it's open. Okay, anyway. Um, just a minute there. Bonnie. Get him. Get him, Bonnie. This is where I want to go down here. And I'm walking on purpose so that I restore my... Wait a minute, one button. Now I'm doing water walk. I don't want water walking. Christ. 
just pay attention to uh, what's going on. Pay no attention at all. Hope you guys can see this. Okay, now he's stuck. Yeah, how's it feel? Not behind me. Oh, now, I, now we've won. That was three. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> okay, now three of them are stuck. Well, that's awesome. Let's try this. Very vampiric of me. I don't know, he completely bugged out for some reason. But that worked. Sweet, okay. We got it. Where is it? There it is. Black Jinx. Absorb luck and burden. So we were a bit luckier that time because the burden last time was 55% or whatever, 55 points. Which uh, means that uh, yeah, we're over encumbered. Whereas this time, no such luck. So... We'll also take his gold. I guess we didn't really spill any of his blood there. Oh yeah, Bunny would have. But now nah, I'm gonna take his rope. Anyway, so we got cool. Right, that's that's two quests down. So that worked. And we know from the fight that never happened that uh, we're about to level up as well. Just need one more. Skill in summit. Oh, we would have uh, really increased our mysticism there quite quite a bit as well. Yeah, so that's not too bad, is it? Not too bad. Right, let's see what rewards we get. Maybe we can buy some more spells. Maybe we might even venture into like the bound spear territory or another summon. Um, yeah, the Great Bone Walker is kind of tempting, I have to say, but something that does magical damage. But what does magical damage? I don't know. And like an astronaut. Right. Who wanted the things and the stuff? Okay, now I haven't done that. Did I find Black Jinx? Yes, I did. Yes, that's it. Mistress Dratha will appreciate this. The ring can instill fear in others. No, technically it can't. That would be demoralized human. Uh, humanoid. I know a spell or two that are not as powerful as this ring, but I will teach them to you if you wish to learn. Yes, teach me the spells. Demoralize your opponents. Not much yours? Speak to other mouths. Yes, there's no much no more chores for you. Speak to other mouths. You may also speak to my patron, Mistress Dratha, but we warn that she does not like men. Oh. Doesn't she? Uh... Cool, okay, so now we're getting into the stage where we're actually doing missions directly for the patrons. For the, the nobles, if you like, so that's good. Yeah, demoralize people. So that can make people run away. I don't think they're too effective, quite honestly. I don't know, we can try them out. Nope. That's something that I'm definitely on my to-do list, though. Did I find the stuff of silver? Yes, it cost me 300 gold. 300. Oh, good. I hope Master Niloth will be pleased with it. I have this old dagger I no longer use, and I can teach you to blind your enemies as the staff does. Teach me to blind my enemies. Of course, teach you to blind your enemies. <laughs> no, if you'll excuse me. Master Niloth. Okay, so I, I, he's not, she's not saying that I should go and... Uh, Check out my patron, Master Niloth, uh, or with the other mouths. Yeah, okay, so we can get a quest of him as well. And he is in Sadrith Mara, so we can go out and talk to him now. Might as well. Might as well, but I'll need... I didn't get any, uh, I didn't get any gold, but I did get this. And this is worth 2,000. So we can easily get 300 from that. Now, this is where it pains me that Karish doesn't use weapons, because this... Paralyzed 3 seconds isn't as good as the base game, which I think was like 10 seconds. Which made these weapons really, really powerful. Because you could stab once with... You initially have combat, you know, start combat with this weapon. And just chop, 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 chop as quickly as possible. So you just go... 
Tap, 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 you know. Not looking for damage, but you want to paralyze. And once you get paralyzed effect, you would then switch to a bigger weapon and then whack them to death. Uh, then 10 seconds later, switch back, switch back to the paralyzing weapon and just do that until they died. So really very useful. Now they've reduced it to three seconds, which I totally get for rebalancing. But the price is still 2,000, which I believe is the same. So, now again, this is where a charm spell would be really useful. So, but I need to get rid of this uh, dagger in order to... Oh yeah, we got blind as well. Um, in order to what? Get some gold so we can go places, pretty much. So there is a smith down here. Hello. Yeah. Are you going to give me 800 for it? It's quite a lot though. I mean, we made 500 on that um, <coughs> quest with the uh, with the staff, which I'm sure Karish would take. So, yeah, I think I'll I think I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Let's go and see Master Niloth. Except, of course, I can't probably. We'll see if we can get to him. But I don't think we can. Because uh, we don't have a levitate spell. Now we could of course go and get one. Though what I would do is I would buy that levitate spell. And then I would try and make my own. Of like a, a much lesser ma 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 magnitude. But yeah I probably need to go up there don't I. So that's, that's that then isn't it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I want to see Master Niloth, which I probably do. I mean, I could just go and get a potion. It's like a stopgap. Where's the? Um, where am I first? There I am. A healer, but a healer might have a selection of potions. So I don't, I don't gain any skill from using a potion. That's what I'm thinking. Good day to you, Karish. I am Therevul uh, Serethi. I assume you're new here to the side of the we've never spoken before. Just because I haven't spoken before doesn't mean that I, I'm new, which is because I haven't walked in here. But yeah. Barter. But like a, a bargain one would be great. But these are always, as you might expect, are restorative. But you also sell spells. Quite a few. Restaurant. Hmm. Do. There's a cheaper restore health, but obviously it won't be as good. So restore, ah, restore strength. Best, not best spell in the game, but I've got to buy that. I got it. Why the hell wouldn't he buy it? I got it. I'm not big on um, ooh, not big on on fortifying things. I'm not big on resisting things either. Uh, that's only 15 seconds, but it can really no. It's reflect. If it was absorb, I'd probably get it. All right. But yeah, so we can now cure common disease on us. I believe we have one that does uh, we got po poison on touch sadly <laughs> uh, oh, so I've got two of them ah oh, damn it I forgot about that I think it just if I'd have known that I wouldn't have bought it but honestly, I think Karish would have bought it anyway. <laughs> um, because you could never have too many freaking restore uh, cure disease potions in this place. Is this a uh, what's the difference? Butter with your 
Restore speed, restore... Yeah, this is a restorative again, as you might expect, obviously. How about some restore fatigue stuff, yeah? Wherever it is. Come on. Uh, I need a, I need a... An alchemist or something. There's... I'm just gonna buy the bloody spell. I'm just gonna buy the bloody spell. It'll be more expensive, but it's right... It's right there. I'm just gonna buy the spell. Then it's done, then it's over, then I can start training alteration. I'm just gonna buy it. It's gonna be expensive. I know. I know it's gonna be expensive. I know I just wasted 200 gold on a spell I already had, but I'm, I'm going to buy it anyway. So there. There you go. End of debate. <laughs> uh, the internal debate that I just had in my head. God, don't move up there. Oh, okay, thank you. I thought you were just going to get in the way. It's been about three hours training. Athletics trying to get around you. Okay, who had it? Someone up here. Makes sense that you've got. I mean, it seems like a, a part and parcel being Telvani that you know, you know levitation. So, it's 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 a class thing, you know. It's no no, it's it's just something that he has to have. You don't have it. You have it. Mm. No no. I wish to know how to levitate myself. Yes. Now let's just see. I mean, because that, that works. That will definitely do the job as far as levitation goes. So that is... Where the hell is it? 25 points for 30 seconds. That's that's quite powerful. I only have a few moments. So, if we bring this to this gentleman here... And we make a levitation spell on self. The one on touch is actually really good because you can have an enemy go up into the sky with you if you've got levitation as well and then it runs out and they just plummet. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope I can afford that. But just one for 10 seconds. <coughs> Maybe that's. Uh, no, not touch, self. I mean, that might be a bit low. Okay, we might as well. Since the price isn't going up at all, we might as well keep it to like 20. Yeah, and then suddenly it really... But this is going to be really slow. But it's going to last 30 seconds. So, and it's only going to cost one. I'm going to call it Hover. So it's going to cost one point of magicka and it'll get me up to Levani, um places. But it's going to be really, really slow, as I will now demonstrate. No, not that way. Because we are going to, we're going to test this. We're going to fly out of here. <clears throat> um, once I get the right stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? <clears throat> Three, two... One lift off. Yeah. But we can now levitate. And like I said, this is purely to get us um up there. Up these uh Oh. Get further up, thank you. up these towers. Sorry, I'm looking at when it was going to run out. We're also pretty much... We are certain to cast it. The wild levitate is... Um, levitate wild. Still, still pretty good. Um, but now we're training alteration as well. So I can just cast this, you know, ad nauseum now. 
and train alteration. I'm not going to, but I could. But yeah, it's, it's a good little spell to get this. I always, I always kind of make it. Um, and it can actually be quicker than walking if you uh, sort of travel as the crow flies, or as, as Karish flies now. Because I reckon that, that was actually quicker than if we went on foot. Like a peasant. Fuh. So our spell repertoire is actually getting quite, um, I wouldn't say impressive, but it's growing, which is nice. Let's go and see this Master Niloth and impress him with our leet. Look at me flying, everybody. Look. Yeah. I th I'd say that was worth it. That was worth it. Because now we don't have to worry about levitation potions and not being able to get places and do stuff and whatever. We can just do it. Look at us. Look at us flying. Right, Master Niloth. Uh, probably further up than this. Let's go right to the top. Guess where it'll be. Don't be up here. Ooh. This is... Oh, hello. Yes, you're him. <laughs> you can just tell we should probably speak with the aide first. Yes, Karish. I am Veris Rema, uh, Reram. Go ahead. I'm sure you have questions. Well, I was asking about Master Niloth, actually, but now I'll ask you about the latest rumors, I suppose. Now I tell you, uh, this pig star, the temple says she's dead. But how could she be the Neverine if she's dead? <laughs> Indeed, uh, that shall is a prophecy that one day a reincarnation of the uh, legendary hero Nerevar will unite the Dunma against the invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elven nation. But the Tribunal Temple says this is a false and profane superstition, and the Ordinators deal uh, mercilessly, with, mercilessly with those who believe, profess such beliefs. Interesting, but yes, I'm mostly going to speak to you, Niloth. Whatever you want, the answer is no. Oh, why was he here for chores? Missions. Certain interest in a robe, which is in the possession of a, uh, one who is entirely unworthy. This robe is known as the Robe of Drake's Pride. But I can't. You're not going to tell me about it, are you? I might. Your impression on me is pretty good, but maybe I just need it to get to 70, so I, I don't know. I know who has this. It's some dude over uh, here. That was a waste of time. Thanks for that. <clears throat> Hello. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Get in there before the before it runs out. God's sakes. Hello. Speak, traveler. Yes, Garish. I am. If if or any, Sanderas. Go ahead. I'm sure you have questions. Not really. Not really. So ask you about your background. You're a Nightblade. Good for you. You're also in the way. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. Interesting. Ah. That's cool. I see a screenshot opportunity. I did hit one of those three guys that were stuck, but yeah, somewhat like, like that. Might just be just fine. Okay. What's in here? Pit of death, it seems. It is annoying how you can get stuck. Like this. Very annoying. Yeah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck on the lantern. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Stuck. I can wait for my spell to run out now so I can get <laughs> Oh, this game, man. So good and yet so bad. I still can't get down. <laughs> really, game? Really? I can't actually. I can't actually get that way. Are you kidding me? I don't know if this will work. Uh, whether it'll still count as being there. Ah, oh, come on. 
Come on. Let me let me down there. Pay no attention to what's going on. Pay no attention. <clears throat> okay. Uh oh no. No 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 no. No, I need I need No no. Come on. Okay. We now have a body again. Sweet. Okay. That that's stupid. But alright. So we got a bunch of crates and stuff and stuff that I am. So not nothing really. Don't know why I spent such like a time such an effort getting there, but I just felt the, the need for it not to beat me and then we're back here again. Okay. So that was that was a bit of a waste of time really, wasn't it? I do apologize for that. But hey, we trained uh, alteration a little bit. So that's good. And the more he casts stuff, the better he'll get at what he does. And before we know it, Karish will be an Archmage. So, what now? We have 400 gold, which is quite a bit. It's alright. Um, we'll check our, check our journal. <coughs> so we've done that, we've done that, <clears throat> done that. Uh, oh yes, portions of cure blight. We could buy those with the money that we've got. Um, so we've done that. Yeah, Nuss left lies somewhere west of Voss. That's what I'm going to say it. Nuch, 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 nuch left. <laughs> nuch left. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then tell Voss. That's where we got to go. So I'm going to buy these uh, portions of Cure Blight. We know as an apothecary because we. That's all we could find when we were looking for something else. This one? Nope. Yeah. So, cure blight potion. C cure blight. Oh, you believe that uh, this person carries potions of cure blight? Okay. Well, it's, uh, it's good of you to point me towards a, a, a rival of yours. Yeah, that figures. Right there. So we're really sort of ticking off these um, these quests. Karish is becoming quite adept. He's even becoming, you could say, pretty good at what he's uh, what he does. I think this is one of our most productive uh, episodes, you could say, couldn't you? Cure Blight. Okay, let's have a look. Do you have any portions of Cure Blight? You do. I need three of them. You know, I'm going to buy them all. It's expensive, though. Still, do I have a portion of Cure Blight? I don't, then I feel the need to buy them all. I just do. I'm sorry, everyone, but I just do. But I'm working hell at House Delvani, so, you know, you give me a discount. Yay. Okay, so. <clears throat> Let's, uh, what time is it? It's probably, actually, it's a really, really productive day. I think we should go to the pub and celebrate. We'll probably head to Telvoss and whatever tomorrow. Which may still will be in this episode, but... Karish is feeling pretty good, and he's got this brandy, you know, and he's... This is a good day's work. We haven't actually left town, but we've done a lot within the town. So that feels really nice. But yeah, let's see if we can find somewhere to, uh... Have this brandy that we got, and, uh... A bit of, a, bit of a meal. A bit of a rest, you know. It's, it's been a good day, I think. Definitely say that. Here we are. Good stuff. Uh, the inn's normally at the... Sorry, the bar's normally at the top. But if you think about it, it doesn't make any sense. I mean... Oh, I mean okay, fine. <coughs> because they'll have to carry all the stuff to the top. If they kept them on the bottom... Less carrying stuff. But I know it's Hell Salvani, so they'll just levitate everything. Hello, Eri. 
publican of the Gateway Inn here in Sadrith Mara. We rent beds and have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you about where to look for other services, specific place nearby. Um, no, no, it's, uh, beds is fine. Yes, I love that. Even though this is one of those places that doesn't have a door. Really quite irritating. And I guess we'll have some eggs, eh? We're running out of other stuff. And we'll have a muffin and this brandy. Well earned. And we'll rest here until I suppose we get our own floor. This is our this is ours, right? Okay. We'll rest for a good fifteen hours. Yeah. We'll have the other and now we'll have some um, restore health. Actually, we have some restore magicka as well because we are running out of that a little bit. Maybe a an Ashian, yeah. Okay, good. New day, eight a.m. Uh oh, I tell you what we should do. There's not many clothiers around here, is there? Because Karish has been wearing the same underclothes for uh, a while now. We need a different set of clothes. Hmm. 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 Well, we know we're gonna get any here, so we might find some in Voss or Tel Voss or whatever. Let's go and find out. Oh, the sun is rising really quickly. Look at the shadows. So, Tilvani Apothecary of Telvos. Okay, let's let's go and do that now. I mean. Because this is the one that could lead us on to bigger things with that patron. My destination is. Oh. Oh. Um. <clears throat> so, how is Courage supposed to know where to go? Because I think how it works is, it could just ask, obviously, is, is the thing, but, you know, for people who didn't have the paper map, how the hell are you supposed to know till boss is up here? I'm just, I'm just kind of realizing how, you know, when, when I first got this game on CD, uh, when it first came out, it came with, like, a really nicely colored and detailed paper map that had enough it didn't have everything on it which made it so good because you could still find things uh, that were on the map but it told you where all the main areas were now just a minute here let me just it's not in here either so how are you supposed to know where it is I mean, I could ask him, and I think it, he goes to uh, Telmara, and then you go to Voss. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't, I don't actually remember now, now that I'm here. I don't remember. Uh, we've also got... Want to speak to here, haven't we? Maybe not. <laughs> I, don't know, I think we have stuff to do here, but I can't really remember. Um, I can't recall. I think I'm in the right place. I, I don't remember where Voss is. Just a minute. Um, 
yeah, okay, it's just over. It's right, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so we're in the right place, right? I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm losing it. I am proper losing it. Uh, Tell boss. That's. Where's Tell boss? Is that a boss and that Tell boss? I think that's Tell boss over there. I think so. Right, tell me the boss. Yeah, tell me. Uh, yeah, God. I kind of want to know for my own curiosity now. I'm sure that's where the lady who doesn't like men is. So we got a couple things to do here. I just, I'm gonna close this episode by just knowing whether that there is Tell Boss. I'm almost certain it is. Almost certain, and we need levitation there as well. So. And this is all like a completely new area for us. We got a signpost there. I think I'm going to stop the episode by just looking at the signpost, just so I know I'm in the right area, so we can next time we can start this whole new place. There we go. Okay, we're in the right place. <coughs> Fantastic. My voice is just about giving out anyway, so I am going to have to stop. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, we had a really good day inside with Mara then. And, uh, then we spent a night there, and then we came up here. Seven hour boat trip, more or less. Five hour, maybe. Got to, uh, Voss, Till Voss, and we got a bunch of quests to do here in this very odd, uh, tundra, shall we say. I haven't really seen anywhere this open yet in our travels, so that should be interesting to uh, explore. And I believe it is just about to start raiding. So, before it does, I shall stop the episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Hope you have enjoyed this. Like I say, I was pretty productive. Um, so, just to reiterate, I am going uh, on holiday this week, so I won't be uploading on Wednesday for a Let's Discuss video, even though we still only have this to read. Um, but... I'll still be uploading next week for uh, this LP as normal. So, hopefully uh, see you next Saturday. Alright, cheers everyone. Hope you enjoyed and see you next week. Toodling.